Cody Donovan has, and that's what he wanted in a coach. Yeah, and it's good to have an opponent like John Doyle, who's been around, fought on big shows, is used to this kind of pressure. Uh, coming in late, but Cody's only had, I think, what, four professional fights. Uh, he needs guys who are a little bit more veteran in the game than he is. All right, let's see how they match up on paper. Tail of the tape, Cody Donovan, six foot three. John Doyle, six foot one. Pretty close in, in record, although John Doyle clearly more experienced. This is a test for Cody Donovan to see if he can bump up, you know, and I don't want to call Doyle a gatekeeper because he's still, you know, in there, he's still fighting. But clearly, Cody Donovan got to be the favorite in this one. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, your next fight of the evening is sponsored by Jerry's Seafood. Now, three rounds in the UWC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, standing to my right, fighting in the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu artist. He holds a professional record of six wins and four losses. He weighed in at 205 pounds and stands five feet ten inches tall. Fighting out of State College, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, John Doyle! And his opponent fighting in the red corner. He is a boxer with a jiu-jitsu background. This man holds a record of three wins and one loss. He weighed in at 206 pounds and stands six feet three inches tall. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Cody Donnie Bro. Begins your referee, Mr. Fernando Yamasaki. So it's a matchup at the light heavyweight division against this gentleman, John Doyle. Gotta love a guy that's got four war tattooed over his heart. I'm all for that. And that gentleman <laughs> right there, Donnie Brook, Cody right Donovan. Not the real kind. Stay sharp out there, Cody. <laughs> Are you ready? Donnie Brook in the green and white trunks. Doyle in the solid black. Fernando Yamasaki, Mario's brother, refereeing here. Looks like him. Just touch. All you gotta do is touch. No goatee, though. Sans goatee. Right away, I can see an improvement in Donovan's footwork from the last fight. I, 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 it's almost like I'm, not, I'm watching a different guy. Light on his toes, throwing feints, head movement. Look at that. Setting up the attack. Fantastic. And I think he does prefer to go for the submission here. Right away, down, yeah, nice outside trip. Basically the same thing Manny was working over uh, Felice Herrick, uh, a little bit close to tight. And it looks like, I think there's already blood from John Doyle. I'm, I'm not sure where it's coming from. I saw blood on the palm of Donovan when he put his hand in the air. Yeah, Donovan. Yes, he is bleeding. You can yeah. see it spilling on the mat. I'm not sure what that's from. I can't see where he's cut from either the camera or my personal angle. There it is. From the nose. Oh, if it's broken, he's going to be unable to breathe. And now it is a it faucet. Is pouring it's a out faucet. Of his nostril. Oh my God! You know, look, you got to cut like that. It's a medical issue, uh, simply from bleeding. And now he looks like he's going to pass him out. But he, he needs to raise his hips up a little higher when he do this. There he goes. But when you're bleeding like this, it, I mean, guys freak out when they see their own blood, particularly that amount of it. I like how Donovan's controlling the head, keeping Doyle's back flat to the mat while he figures out a way to improve position and, get, and, and time to strikes. Now he's going to cross face here. Great composure on Donnie Brooks' part, too, to look to his corner. Oh, this, this, this could be the beginning of the end here. For John Doyle, I'm not seeing too much answer for too many problems that Donnie Brook is I mean, imposing on him. Look at how high he is at the mount. And, okay, Doyle's moving, but his, his arm, excuse me, his back is basically pinned to the, to the mat. Throwing your legs over, that's probably not going to help. He's just covering up. Uh, Yamasaki might stop it soon. That's it. 
With just two and a half minutes to go in round one at the 2.30 mark, Johnny Brook, Cody Donovan, making short work of John Doyle. Johnny Brook moves to four and one on his career and a very, very promising career ahead of this young man here. Johnny Brook, Cody Donovan, only 28 years old, training with some of the best in the world, and it showed right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. Some guys don't need necessarily world-class camps to train in, but when you do, and it helps. And oh, this is where he broke his nose? Apparently, this was where he broke his nose. Perhaps the it's shoulder. Pouring. Yeah, it's pouring. I think he did it when he closed the distance initially. I think John Doyle was more than okay with that stoppage. Yeah, I think he wanted out. I mean, he was in a bad spot. He was taking punishment. They didn't look he had any answer to find a way out. Uh, good stoppage by referee Fernando Yamasaki. All right, we're going to go talk to the Irish one. He wears that green proudly, and well, he should. He is representing it very proudly, representing it well, getting some water from the rest of his team there, Christian Allen, Brandon Schaub, high altitude. Coming through for Donnybrook, Cody Donovan. Let's go talk with him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Fernando Yamasaki, has put a stop to this fight due to strikes in the first round. Two minutes, 33 seconds, your winner, Cody Donnie Brown Donovan. Cody, just, just too much. Too much skill, too much everything. You're training with Nate Marquardt, your mentor, training at high altitude with all of, some of the best fighters in the world. Internationally elite fighters, and it really showed in this fight. Thanks, man. Yeah, I, uh, I've had the opportunity to train with, you know, like the best in the world, like you said, and, and um, I, I can't explain how much I appreciate those opportunities. Pretty much took him down at will. You pretty much passed guard at will. We're going to take a look at some of the fight here. Yeah, I mean, at, at that point, he, he wasn't really defending, and I could hear Mario just kind of telling him, or uh, whatever, you know, telling him, defend yourself, defend yourself. So I just kept pushing it. I heard Brendan and Christian through the fence telling me, you know, start throwing the elbows and then it would end. Well, I'll tell you something. A lot of people have their eyes on you right now, Cody. Uh, in the light heavyweight division, where do you think this places you here at UWC? Who would you like to fight next? I mean, anyone that knows me knows I don't really talk trash. I don't have grudges or call people out. I'll just fight whatever's the next matchup. If it's a smart matchup for my career, then we'll take it. And, you know, I trust my teammates. Brennan and Christian, I love these guys, you know? Whatever, man, if, if it's a good matchup, I'll take it. All right. A bright future in store for you, young man. Good luck to you. Thank you. Um, can I just real quick thank 5280 Fighter, Muscle Farm, and my girlfriend, Jessica. Give it up one more time for Donnie Brook, Cody 